The revamp of the flotilla, which began in 2014, sees a total bow to stern mast to keel overhaul of the backbone ships of the fleet to ensure the 23s can serve into the middle of the next decade, keeping pace with the latest threats and tech. When first conceived in the late 1970s, the Type 23 was intended to be a light anti-submarine frigate to counter Soviet nuclear submarines operating in the North Atlantic. With anti-submarine warfare sonar 2087 is described by its manufacturer as a towed array system that enables Type 23 frigates to hunt the latest submarines at considerable distances and locate them beyond the range at which submarines can launch an attack. Sonar 2087 was fitted to eight Type 23 frigates in midlife refits between 2004 and 2012. The Type 23 frigate medium-range radar will be replaced by Bay Systems Insight Type 997 Artisan 3D radar. It is a medium-range radar designed to be extremely modular and highly configurable to provide a cost-effective high-performance radar, capable of operating effectively in littoral zones and improving air defense, anti-surface and air traffic management capabilities of the Type 23 frigates. Protection measures are also added to maintain detection ranges even when attacked by complex jammers. The Type 23 frigate before have maritime variant of the common anti-air modular missile, is intended to replace the Seawolf missiles on the Type 23 frigates starting from 2016. Common anti-air modular missile has a longer range of 1 to 25 plus kilometer compared to the 1 to 10 kilometers offered by the Seawolf missile. An option exists to give the missile a surface attack capability, though it is currently understood the Royal Navy will not take that option, because of cost. Common anti-air modular missile is known as Sea Scepter in Royal Navy service. And now Royal Navy's second youngest frigate has been busy since emerging from Devonport's Frigate Support Center late last year, and working alongside Babcock, completed her next phase before returning her to the fleet, ready to deploy this year. After completing her last deployment in 2017 to the North and South Atlantic, the ship was handed over to Babcock in 2018 to start her refit in the frigate sheds on the Devonport waterfront. In the three years which since passed, in the first for her class, two electric propulsion motors were removed, rewired and replaced, the Seawolf missile system has been ripped out and Sea Scepter installed in its place, the 997 surveillance and 1084 navigational radars added, and the new to Royal Navy 2150 hull mounted sonar to sharpen her anti-submarine warfare teeth. For good measure, machinery, computer and IT systems on board have been overhauled as have mess decks which were designed in the 1980s so they can meet the needs and expectations of 21st century sailors. I cannot express, with justice, the pride I feel sailing in command of such an incredible team and in such a fine vessel, said Commander Tim Leader, HMS Portland's commanding officer. There is no greater privilege than working with sailors as they develop and grow into their roles. Taking HMS Portland back to sea today after her refit gives me a front row seat from which to follow the development as they generate Portland from engineering project into a front line operational asset. There have been many challenges, continuing to deliver to tight timelines despite the global pandemic is a credit to the tight working relationship with Babcock and to the resilience and hard work from the sailors. The 23 frigate sailed from Devonport for sea trials is the latest Type 23 warship to complete the life extension program for the class a massive undertaking which is now drawing to a close. Gary Simpson, Babcock Managing Director Warships said Portland's departure marked another key milestone in the Type 23 program. The last 12 months have seen our teams face very challenging measures, but we're incredibly proud to be able to continue to support and work collaboratively with the Royal Navy and celebrate the end of this important project following completion of the commissioning phases. Grant Stephen, Babcock's Warships Delivery Director added, It has been a true team effort and its success can be attributed to a great deal of hard work. In line with government guidelines we've introduced new ways of working at the site to protect the health and well-being of our colleagues who have continued to support this defence priority during the COVID-19 pandemic. 
HMS Somerset will be the next frigate to complete her life extension, while HMS Iron Duke and St. Albans are mid-overhauls and HMS Sutherland becomes the last Type 23 to undergo the work, entering the refit complex next week.